My beloved brothers and sisters, look at how we should be looking at negativity. Look at negativity with a positive eye. That's the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu I'm not saying don't do anything about it and sit back, relax, let them trample all over you. No, that's not true. But I'm saying don't lose your great character and conduct because someone else lost theirs. You are, a, you are your own man. People are watching you. And not only that, you are supposed to be a role model and an example for those younger than you. Be they your family members, children, whoever else, your community members, they're watching you. Especially as you grow a little bit older, you automatically become a senior. They will love you and have tremendous respect for you when they can see that this person is very, very wise. They are mature. They are good Muslims. They don't bother with the detractors. Today we have a sickness and an illness. What is it? People talk bad about everybody else. That's from shaitan. Now I'm talking about the person engaging in the crime. When you want to talk bad about others, you must remember the loss is yours. It's never theirs. Never theirs. You want to accuse someone, hurt them, harm them, abuse them, utter vulgar language against them. Someone swears you. What should you do first? Do you know what we do? I don't even need to say it. Come on. You know what we do. Someone swears you. Subhanallah. I see people nodding their heads. I hope you guys don't have guns in your pockets. Because someone swears you, you know, people in this country, they would actually draw their weapons. May Allah protect us. That's wrong. Someone swears you, you smile and walk away. Don't even turn towards them. Fasbir ala ma yaqooluna wahjurhum hajran jameela. Look at how Allah speaks about it. Allah says, bear patience and you know what? Ignore them in a good way. Leave them in a nice way. Stay away from them. Don't communicate with someone whose intention is to rile you up. Every day they come to you and tell you one bad thing. They're riling you up. The one who can rile you up is controlling you. The one who can anger you has control over you. They want you to be foolish. So what do they do? They know we need this guy to get angry. When he gets angry, he's going to hit someone. When he hits someone, we'll do him in for public violence and we'll get him to sign this uh, admission of guilt to pay the fine and possibly to be in jail. So they've planned it before you even understood what has happened. And when they come, they just watch by remote control what's happening to you. You control, but you can break their entire plan. They swear you, you just smile back. How's it? Swear you again. You're right. Everything good. They call you F's and B's. Hey, guy. Everything lacquer. Subhanallah. When that happens, they will get so frustrated, so irritated because their plan has failed. 